Hey guys, it's Phase on once again with another video. Today we're gonna go through the roadmap roundup that just dropped today, Wednesday, August seventeenth. Um, all right, so um, it's really small, but uh, let's just get through it. And the main thing I want to discuss today is where's three point eighteen, and um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Before we move forward, I'd like to give a big thank you to my channel members and Patreon. All right. Let's get straight into it. All right. So some of the key things that that are, that is is noteworthy. Um, they are mentioning that uh, a complete overhaul of all the systems and maps for this is regarding the Arena Commander Classic Race Mode overhaul. This this is really interesting. The fact that they're working on this, but uh, it's not really a a top liner for me. Um, so it says a complete overhaul of of all systems and maps and in the arena commander classic mode classic race mode improvement includes a complete refactor of checkpoint entities and race manager systems improvements uh improvement to scoring a complete rework of all uh three new horizons uh spaceway maps as well as new um a new map the snake pit this delivery has been added to the arena commander feature team schedule all right so once again, it's great. It's great that they're working on um, the race modes as well as adding this snake pit. That a lot of people are um, really excited about that. And I think it's really cool to be able to race in Star Citizen. So that that's always good. So Vault Pulse, uh, Vault Pulse. So designing and creating a verified off-road laser technology Vault. All right, uh, Pulse Energy Pistol uh, includes asset creation, animation, balancing it. Uh, this deliverable has been added to the weapons content team schedule. All right, so um, they showcased a little bit of uh, Volt's uh, design language um, earlier on in the year. It looks really, really good. It, I think it's they're, they're probably my favorite uh, weapons manufacturer in the game, and I can't wait until we get our hands on their actual uh, weapons. Okay, so AI vehicle perception. Now, so this is key. This is a really key um, addition. Um, for what well, development for AI, right? So let's see what this says. So it says uh, this feature will give AI the ability to both perceive and detect vehicles from the ground as well as select ground based targets when piloting their own. They are both vision and radar delivery has been added to the AI tech team's schedule. So this is key, man. So AI that will be spawning in, in atmosphere or from space and flies down to atmosphere will now be able to target you even if you're if you're in a ground vehicle and it says it could also target ground base um target so that you're talking about turrets and maybe possibly uh other players or other npcs um so um that's big that's a big improvement because right now um, a lot of people in order to evade ai in the skies they just leave their ship or vehicle you know they may destroy your vehicle but they won't detect you right so it's good that they're adding this. I think this is a much needed thing. Eventually they're gonna have to do it. So I'm glad they're doing it now. All right. Um, so aerodynamic control service. So, so they're saying that ships with uh, control surface will be able to use them in atmosphere to aid their maneuverability. This will allow uh, for improved, improved performance from ships that the weak that have weak maneuvering thrusters in atmosphere and bring new depth to the aerodynamic in flight uh aerodynamic flight in game previously removed from the vehicle experience team deliverable when merged with the vehicle feature team this has uh returned to the pro the uh progress tracker with this update all right so that's that's pretty um that's that's pretty good that they're adding um so ships that are that are um, that have advantage in, um, in in atmosphere, AI will be able to take advantage of it if they have that ship. So that's 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 very that's very important. Um, yeah. So they also mentioned that uh, we realized uh, an error on the current release view uh, was made due to our team uh, pulling a set of data from the roadmap that was slightly um, out of date for the arena commander feature team this card will be the commander classic mode so this class mode essentially is actually meant for 319 
um but they accidentally placed it for 318 and so therefore the card will be removed and released you temporarily until the goal of the goals for 319 are finalized but uh will still remain in the progress tracker apologize for any miscommunications right so that is that's okay right it's, it's okay to communicate that you made a mistake on on the progress tracker or the roadmap right so that's that's good but here's the thing right and you you can tell from the comments um on this thread that people are are, are really people are not liking the fact that we're getting no communication on what exactly what exactly is going on with 318 right we were supposed to get 318 by the end of i think june or early july or something like that right but regardless like we're we're, we're heading towards the end of august and we still there's no sight of a 318 build hidden the Ipocati, right and that's what everybody's waiting for and that it's not an issue that the fact that it, there is a delay so the issue is that CIG is not communicating anything on it right you know all you have to do is just just write a one-liner hey you know we know we're supposed to be dropping 318 around this time but we're having a few delays due to due to one two and three you know just communicate it to us that way we know because everybody's really waiting for 318 people don't really care about 317 too everybody's waiting for 318 right so i think it's very important that they communicate exactly what's going on especially at this time all right hey guys i have more videos like this make sure to check it out i'll see you on the next one